Salvo Nani Masabe Zulumina, Elami Ibizong was Pongo, aka the Honorable Metaphor. My metaphors are so honorable, they deserve a seat in the parliament. But please do not tell the government, man, because we all know what he's going to do. Uh, I'm a spoken word artist who comes from a small village, Esoche, Ematopo, in Matabelele North. Uh, Today I'm going to be performing some poetry. The first poem I'm going to perform for you uh, is titled The Monsters. I hope you enjoy. We. We are the monsters. We, we are your leaders. We've got a gun to your head because we fear you. We, we are the demons. We, we are the preachers. We've got religion in your head to control you. We use beliefs, the media, and alternatives to control, delete, and alternatives, divisions to breed altercations, experimenting with your people during vaccination, TV screens causing identity assassination. We sanction nations, then we offer them resuscitation. Mouth to mouth, smell our colonial breath, inhaling our essence through a kiss of dead so you can look down upon your color, bleach your skin in a beauty pallor, renting an identity, enriching our entity. See, we take the profit, then we take more money when you give to the profits, or you get drunk to buckle ills, early mornings to circle bills. You are up before the sun rays because you have a son to raise, wages a rare sum to raise. We removed you from your bunt ways and gave you what was damp to praise. I said, we, we are the monsters, we, we are your leaders, we've got a gun to your head because we fear you. We, we are the demons, we, we are the preachers, we've got religion in your head to mess with you. We own the leaders, you are led by televisions, you were bred by walking with your head high, not knowing you were dead, guys. See, your pineal gland is calcified, the order wants me pacified because all of this is classified. I should not tell this information, no, a new order is information, yes, promotion of a sinful nation, spread disease, abomination. We meet up in Obama's nation to legalize abominations, and no, we ain't taking crap like constipation. See, stripping naked is now in occupation, sex robots now making some computations second coming yeah yeah we've got you waiting while we're taking over and dominating see this is the matrix we sit down in matrix we do pew with beliefs we we pew to stay sick so these are the basics keep you chasing things to buy with your pay slips all of creation completed on day six tesla knew the key we took it so face it uh yeah uh so for some reason um I woke up with a bit of flu, and uh, today was uh, performance day, but uh, we make things happen. Yeah, uh, so the second poem I'm going to perform for you uh, is titled The Rain Dance. Shout out Sinkende who helped me write this poem. Thanks, bro. I love you much. We all sat around the fireplaces, the tongues of the fire seemingly taunting our hungry looking faces. We had not left the room, no none had the nerve, not until the ritual was over. We sat on the floor, cross-legged, frozen, waiting for the first droplet. The ground smelt of thirst, sea spring had come and gone, but even the trees that hung onto their leaves were grieved to hear them fall to the ground, raising tons of dust that hung above our hairs like a friendly ghost come to boast. The rhythm of life got sing to the cries of the blaring gods. We had drank their blood and ate the flesh of their kin in an effort to keep so glued to skin the people were quiet but each whispered in their minds the truth unspeakable the cross deep pool that stood atop the cathedral seemingly violating the sky rendered hair barren Gone are the days of the rain dance when the rainmaker through the orifices of the hot springs in Binga disappeared for seven days and came back with basket loads of harvest maize to tell of a bumper harvest a gift from the gods of the land. If he came with his hands empty like politicians promise of food security, the tribe knew the drums had to beat for the people to clap and the gods to dance until the earth cried tears of rain. We were one with the land, more so gods of the rain. So I pray thee tell which gods do this save that let you starve? No, no blasphemy. Let's have none of that nonsense for the starving child whose father wakes the fields but the rains on fall, whose mother gathers the wood but the cat sleeps on the hearth, whose stomach grumbles the Lord's prayer but all the Lords are deaf. Her shoulders will never carry the pleasant weight of a scarf. Teen as she goes to school, she bends but not a single droplet for her throat to cool. So she lands at school that the globe is getting warm. That mother Ed never speaks but she whispers silent cries every time. A car turns it to a passive smoker, telling it 
taking it to cloud nine, but do you know what smoke does to leave us? It will create a hole so big the sun will escape the hands of time and burn us all alive. No rain to cool us down, let alone irrigate the garden of Eden, long lost to the hands of men. The serpent hisses his joy from now until ever. Men shall starve and men shall die a slow and quiet death with every last breath, mother earth takes. Peace. Woo! Yeah, uh, so that was um, that was a piece uh, titled "The Rain Dance." Um, uh, with that piece, I'd like to individually ask you, the viewer, right now: Please protect this planet, protect our planet. Stop cutting down the trees, uh, recycle, reuse. Uh, stop um, pol polluting the environment. Uh, thank you. Uh, the next poem I'm going to perform right now uh, is titled "This Moment." Uh, it talks about this moment. Uh, enjoy. This moment. Everything I've done, everything I am doing since that fateful day, the day I realized my future is in my hands, has been leading to this moment. Everything I've done, everything I am doing is leading me to this moment. This moment I have all I want This moment I am the coolest monkey in this concrete jungle This moment I am the best to ever do it If the crown was real I'll be king of the city My schools would teach kids to love themselves for who they are To learn to live neither in past experiences nor to be caught up in future Because the only moment that matters is now This moment this moment I have all I want, this moment I am the coolest monkey in this concrete jungle. This moment I would like to thank Joshua Mkabu Onkomo and his fighters for fighting for a nation that's too scared to fight for itself. A nation that's armed with keyboards, a 2,000 year old book and education. A nation that believes its prophets more than its poets. Tell me how blind is thee? Can't you see that they are after your prophets to pay the ones who give testimonials? It's a game of numbers. You divide and conquer, make them believe in it. Fair God who lives in the sky and pay no attention to the one inside. Tell them of ancient cases and how paying tithe will heal their laziness. My brother, my sister, there is no such thing as miracle money. Money is energy. There are laws to be followed if you want to drink from the source. And truth be told, none of your prophets teaches them because they don't want you to live in this moment. This moment, this moment, you can become who you are. All you gotta do is decide. This moment is yours. This moment is mine. This moment is ours. We are one different manifestations of the same creator. I'm with the power to manipulate reality, but most use it for destruction as they learn from virtual reality that having nappy hair is a case. The only blessing is coming close to Kim Kardashian. See, I would talk about colors, but that card is sometimes an excuse for our own shortfalls as a people. We will unite the day every nation decides to bend down its flag and raise the rainbow. I wish that moment was now, but now is this moment. Peace. <sighs> um, thank you. So that was, uh, that was a poem titled uh, This Moment. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, I'm going to perform my last po poem now. Uh, it's titled... Um, protect our women so wherever you are whether you are a man whether you are a woman please make sure that you protect our women they are the backbone of society they are everything without women we will be nothing uh, yeah uh, it goes something like this a tap with us no, it's a no. How would you feel if that was your daughter going through the same ordeal or your mother getting beat up like a pal by another senseless man who believes that just because he has the strength he can do as he pleases, quenching his sexual desires at the price of a woman's security, destroying a life for life, forgetting that she is responsible for human life. See, I don't really understand why you believe women are less equal when one carried you for nine months, carried you on a back on a daily till you could run so you can grow up and traumatize women brah are you all right you gotta stop this nonsense think with your head not with your penis and muscles i said brah you gotta stop this nonsense think with your head not with your penis and muscles please protect our women peace thank you Spongo signing out my topo soche byo263 thank you <laughs> Oh, now I